Hey beauties. Ooh. <coughs> so <the> morning voice. <coughs> hey beauties. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Gotta warm my voice up. Hey beauties, it's Nikea here. And I just wanted to come and give you all my opinion, full review of the RI28 Day Challenge program. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, go ahead down below and click that subscribe button. And once you do that, that bell notification button's gonna pop. Click that so that you never miss an upload. Join the club. Yeah. Mm. All right, y'all, let's get into this review. All right, so I heard about this program through my fiance. Um, I believe he's going to a conference where the creator of the program is going to be, you know, talking to entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So he heard about the program and he showed me some of the before and afters and I was like, what? I need to get in on this challenge. And it was only like, I wanna say 40 or 50 bucks. It was only about 40 or 50 bucks. And I was like, that's not bad for everything that you get. So when you sign up for the program, you get videos as well as um, some PDF files with instructions for the program. And you also get different kinds of diets. They have like a vegan diet, a carb depletion diet, a modified depletion diet. And then they just have a diet where they just recommend things for you to eat. And they recommend that most of your plate be veggies. So we signed up for the program at the end of this of December and we did the intermediate program because it's not like we never worked out before so we didn't want to do the beginner program and then we were kind of looking through the diets and we were like which one are we going to do and I told EJ the vegan diet had a lot of stuff that I'd never heard of and we've never been vegan we were like weekday vegetarians so that was a little crazy for me I was like I don't want to search all over the world and pay a whole bunch of money for these ingredients so I looked at the carb depletion diet and I was like babe this is the one that we're going to need to do if we want to see results I regret that decision now oh my god the carb depletion diet was so hard the last 25 days you eat the same thing at the same time every day I hate that and then the only thing you can substitute is like the fish you can only substitute different fish I don't know if you can substitute the chicken and we did switch out the brown rice for the king for quinoa because they're the same uh, amount of calories and I feel like quinoa had more nutritional value but y'all that diet was so rough um you get the videos <laughs> i'll come back to the diet but the videos they tell you um which day it goes with and it what it works through the exercises with you um and also before you even start the challenge they have um, example videos so you can see what each exercise looks like we decided to get up early in the morning and do it and i feel like it was the best choice to work out in the morning. That way it's already done, it's out the way, and you don't have to go through a whole day of work in life and then have to work out. I could not imagine. I am so glad that I did this together with my fiance. I feel like if this was something I would have done by myself, I would have given up because I wanted to give up like so many times, so many times. I wanted to stop and I mostly wanted to stop because of the diet because it was just so strict and so restricting <sighs> it stressed me out so bad the diet was really the hardest part especially for me because I work two jobs so I teach English at a and in the mornings and then if I'm on the schedule I work at Chipotle in the afternoons so I'm working around food some of it I can't eat and sometimes I did eat the food because I was like I gotta eat I'm at work and then I couldn't eat at the specific time. So I will say that I was not a strict adherer to the diet just because of my lifestyle. Um, my fiance was though, he was like, mm, strict, like no leeway. I was like, I gotta eat. I'm gonna eat something as close to this diet as possible or whatever. Um, having chewing gum did help me get through this diet. Um, my fiance said that he found out we could chew gum. So I just listened to him. So we chew gum, that helped drinking water like that is all we drank the entire time i did though when i went to the sip and paint with my friend jazz i did have some sparkling grape cider so 
there's my little cheat there um but yeah like I said the diet is the hardest part but I think it was beneficial to the program coupled with the exercise and the diet that we did I think that is that is why we saw results and the fact that we were really dedicated to exercising and also the beneficial thing is that they plan in rest days and I think rest days are so important I mentioned this in my um, previous vlog that some people were working out on rest days and I was like your body needs to rest and I'm glad we took those rest days because towards the end my body was hurting you know just a compilation of working at Chipotle standing up all day teaching and standing up all day and then just the high intense high impact workout that we were doing oh my goodness I'm so glad I had those rest days so those were good things about the program some of the negatives I would say are that they really don't explain to you the diets or like why you're eating the way you're eating and why you're eating these specific things and why you're eating them at that specific time. I wish that they would provide that for you. You know, you're paying for this program, so I shouldn't have to like Google search to find out why y'all are or why y'all offer these options or why I would want to choose this diet option. And then also explain like what areas that um, workouts are targeting because everybody is not a fitness person. Some people just want to work out and be healthy like me. I do some research and know what areas um, workouts target and luckily my fiance um, majored in physical health and fitness or something like that <laughs> in undergrad. So he knows like what these different things workouts may target. But everybody may not have that so I should provide information on first why you would choose a certain diet and the benefits of this certain diet and the benefits of eating those certain foods at those certain times also I think they should also provide an explanation of um, the workouts and the areas that they target and why they do them in the order and in the manner that they do them then my other little critique is that I think on their Instagram um, their social media the ri28 day challenge they show you before and afters but they don't really tell you like if this person has done the challenge multiple times or what was the start date of this one or the end date but i have seen some pictures where they show like the picture was on this day and then this picture was months later so i just think they need to be explicit when they post that i don't think they're intentionally trying to be um deceptive but it just can be misleading for some people um i will say that this challenge it worked for me the 28 days could i do it back to back no because of the diet we are going to do the challenge again and probably multiple times this year but we're going to eat our vegetarian diet and stick to those certain times eating so in the morning um, eat at 8 o'clock, eat a snack, mid-morning, have lunch, um, afternoon, evening snack, and then a lighter dinner. Still eating, you know, lighter and watching our portion controls, but not that carb depletion diet. That was for the birds. I will say the benefits of this challenge and the diet is that this challenge made me aware of, like, what I'm eating, what are the ingredients, and then how much that I'm eating and being aware of portion controls. You know, like I said, I work at Chipotle, so everything is like in four ounce servings, I believe, except for a couple of items. So like you're supposed to get four ounces of rice, four ounces of meat, four ounces of beans. Um, the salsas are like three to four ounces of salsa and like an ounce or so of cheese and sour cream. And people come in and get so much food and they sometimes eat it in one sitting. You don't need all that food. Even the servings that we give at Chipotle are enough. And when I eat there, I can't even eat the full bowl or the full serving of what is given to me. Um, and I feel like because of this, I'm aware of how much I'm eating because of this challenge. And my body has gotten adjusted to that. And I even like get hungry at those specific times during the day. So I make sure to have snacks with me. Um, like I said, we're definitely going to do this challenge again. I didn't see <clears throat> major weight loss through this challenge like the first week I had lost four pounds and then I gained three pounds back it's like what that was weird but I am finally under 150 so for this challenge I lost a total of four pounds mm -mm -mm. and then I did lose a lot of inches I didn't see a lot of weight loss but I lost a lot of inches which was my goal because inches is how you get snatched honey Okay, so when I started off this challenge, when I first took my measurements, my thighs were 35 and a half inches, 
And then at the end of the challenge, my thighs were 34 inches. Lost an inch and a half off my thighs. My hips were 34 inches. My hips are now down to 32 inches. Lost two inches off my hips. Then my waist was 29 and my waist is down to 28 and a half. Lost a half an inch off my waist. My stomach started off at 32 and a half inches and now my stomach is down to 30 and a half inches. Two inches off that stomach. <laughs> And then my chest was 36 and a half inches and now my chest is down to 35 inches. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, I'm so glad that my chest went down. Now I can finally go bra shopping. <laughs> um, I'm so excited about the change and I really wanna do it again so I can really get down. My goal for this year is to get down to 130. I know people may be like, oh, you're kind of tall in that Kia. That's going to be a lot of weight. I've been 130 before. I still want to keep, like, you know, the healthy thickness that I have. I enjoy that. But um, my goal weight is to get down to 130 and um, fit more comfortably in smalls and get down to a size, get back down to a size to area um, what I was wearing and get down to that weight of 130 which I know I probably won't stay at 130 but I feel like 130 will put me at a good point where if I do gain between 5 to 10 pounds it won't be crazy so get down to 130 so stay between 130 and 140 don't go past that but yeah I love the way I'm looking I'm gonna insert pictures here my body has definitely changed I feel like my fiance he saw more results and I see it in him like he's looking like really chiseled looking good so like I said we're gonna do this challenge again I'm also gonna be doing some of my own workouts so there are areas of my body that I'm gonna target and make sure I get these these love handles and muffin tops and obliques so there are certain things that I'm gonna do to target that um, since the end of the challenge I've only worked out one time and we did yoga um, so I guess we took like a week off because my fiance was out of town and you know I was momming by myself and just being busy and not wanting to get up like I used to <laughs> but I'm going to be more disciplined and get back to working out because I don't want to lose the results that I have and I don't want to lose the gains that I have that I have. So, I'm gonna get back to working out. February will probably be lighter, stretching, yoga. My church is doing another Zumba. So I'm excited, I'm gonna go to that. I'm excited about my results. You will see results in 28 days, but I realize, I realize you won't see major, like huge results like people expect, unless you do the challenge multiple times. And make sure you do this with a partner. Make sure you consult, consult your physician, especially if you have any health issues about this workout. And then don't feel bad if you mess up, if you have a cheat day, if you don't stick to the diet. It's okay to mess up, but the problem is where you stay in that cycle. So if you have a cheat meal, say, okay, I had this cheat meal, snap back to it, get back on where you're supposed to be so you're not beating yourself up. That's one thing I didn't do. Like, if I had to modify the diet or eat something, or if I was hungry and I wanted something, or I just needed to grab a quick little bite at Chipotle or something, I did it, and I didn't feel guilty about it. I didn't beat myself up about it. I didn't, like, try to gorge myself or anything. <laughs> but it was like, okay, I did this. I'm moving on. I'm not going to stay in this, you know, space. Because I know I have goals. I have results. I'm going to have my fiancé give his feedback as well. Um... So you can get a male perspective for the program. But the female perspective is it's intense, it's hard, it's difficult. You may want to give up, you may want to quit. Um, there's some things you may not understand that I feel like the program needs to give more explanation. Um, definitely do the challenge multiple times, but it's definitely worth it. You know, you don't get better by doing things that are easy. Yes, I just want to know how do you feel about the RI 28 Day Challenge program as a man? You know, the benefits of the program was there were there any negative things or things you would like to see improved or changed in regards to the program at first i was really skeptical about the program especially as a man i felt like the program was going to be catered towards women like if you go to their instagram page a lot of what they do is before and after transformation of women but i will say if you go down a lot or not a lot, but if you go down, they do have pictures of men 
with the before and after transformation. And I knew that the two guys who kind of started the whole thing were men. So I was a little skeptical, but about halfway through, I started seeing some results. And yeah, from there, I was like, okay, I'm buying into this. I will say the diet got a little rough in the middle of it, but I mean, eating the same thing for 28 days, well, 25, because the first three days, you do something a little different. There are other options, but I wanted the best results, and people say with the best results, you had to do that strict meal plan, and so that's what I decided to do. But, you know, hopefully I can show some of my before and after pictures in this video, and you'll see some of the results that I got. But, I mean, I'm a believer now. Now, it's not something I could do every month. There are people who do it every month, but I would much rather only do it maybe three times a year, maybe twice a year, something like that. But I think it's definitely worth the money. The program is what it is. You get the results. It's a lot of cardio. It's a lot of ab work. It's a lot of back work. It's a, it's a lot of full body everything. And for me, I'm a believer. I would tell anybody to at least give it a try. You know, if you've tried a diet or something like that in the past, it's not like any other diet you tried before. And I think once you put your money into it, it's something that you'll see, you'll get the results that you're looking for. And the best part is you can do it from home. You don't have to go to the gym. For me, I got phenomenal will, so I could do the meal plan, I could do the workouts and just get through it. But, you know, try it for yourself. And I don't even think this one is a diet, even though I call it a diet because I don't really know what else to call it. Towards the end, I started calling it a challenge because that's what it is. A diet is something that most people break anyway. You know, they do no bread for two weeks and then by day three, they've already had their first slice of bread. Like, this is something that you do when you serious about getting some results. From doing this program, is it gonna change how you eat, how you work out? Oh yeah, that? so the diet, the challenge, suggest that you eat five times a day and that's something that I still continue to do. Now what I eat and the amount of calories that I intake are different from what was on the challenge but I still try to do the five times a day as the best I can. Now sometimes in some days I don't do it like I was on vacation for a week and there was times that I can only eat twice a day or three times a day but I still got I still got my four pack so you know I think once your brain is trained to eat, or excuse me, your, bo your body is trained to eat that way, it is hard to go back. Like, I get hungry around the same times every day. R.I. 28, baby. R.I. 28. No days off. No days off. No days off. All right, beauties, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my perspective as well as my fiance's on this challenge. If you want to join, go ahead and click the link down below in this description box. That is my personal affiliate link. So if you use that link, then you know your girl will get a little kickback from y'all. Just full disclosure, so you know. Thank you so much for watching, but before you go, make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button, and right next to that, click that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post. Like I always say, it's free. It's easy and it's fun. I'll see you in the next one, beauties. Bye.